Hey Wingsters and welcome to this quick video where I want to show you the init method in Python. So this is uh, often asked by many uh, Python students in my community. So I thought, okay, it, it may be worth a quick video to go over the init method. So this method uh, often puzzles uh, many newbie coders that see this like the standard init method. Dunder is short for double underscore. So we have a, the, the init um, method name enclosed in two uh, double underscores or in short dunder so this so it, it's read like dunder in it and um, it takes one one argument which is usually called self you can call it as you want as you, as you like and this uh, first argument is um, the the instance itself on which it is called okay so we have a class like a class dog and the init method is a constructor so it initializes um, it it is a blueprint how a certain instance of the class or an object is initialized okay according to the blueprint and here if you have a dog and then you, we pass the instance a newly created instance of the dog so we create a new dog like this bello called bello uh, dog and the dog the takes uh, zero arguments and this then internally calls the init method and the init method then just just um initializes the attributes of this class okay and then attribute is for example the color attribute so we define it in our constructor and this is different to to other programming languages like java where the constructor merely initializes existing attributes in the class so you define in java you would you would define the color attribute outside of the constructor but in python you often define the attribute actually inside of the constructor um, Python is different because you could theoretically define the attribute wherever you want, but uh, in many cases it's uh, you would just define it in, in, in inside the constructor. This is the the standard way of doing it, the pep8 way of doing it. Okay, so in this code example, we first uh, create a new class called dog. Uh, we define the constru constructor, which is this method. It's a class method, and um, yeah, there are two two. Uh, interesting observations first we use the class name here to create a new instance we use a class name rather than the, the, the constructor so we don't call it something like init underscore underscore or so we also don't call dog dot init and call and then even pass an argument for self self we don't do this so the short way of creating a new instance is just to call the class name where with the um so without any um, argument and Actually, you can have arguments, but you will always have one less argument as you define in the in the constructor because the first argument will be um, a reference to the instance itself. So this is you have to get used to it. That all methods in Python starts with a self argument, and the self argument just gives just passes the instance on which this method is called. Then and um, yeah, then so for example here we um, can we now then print the color attribute of the bello dog which we have just created and as you see yeah we set all co colors to blue so what if you wanted to now initialize any dog with a certain color okay so that, that we can have multiple dogs with colors then we would add a second argument and now you see we have two arguments for the init um, construct uh, which we pass into the init constructor and instead of setting all colors to blue we, we now simply set the color attribute of our current instance on which we operate to the color that is passed here in, in, in as parameter and so when we create a dog now we have to pass one value because as you know the first the first argument passed into the constructor is always done by python so it automatically passes the instance itself into the python uh, constructor but um, if you define more than one argument, custom argument, uh, as, a, as a, an argument to the constructor, then you need to pass this argument to the constructor function dog here. And um, so then it can be any color. So it can be the color blue, for example. If you print the color of bello, now the output will be blue. But what happens if you do the following? So we have, um, like if we create another dog called Alice and we pass yellow into the constructor and now we can call Alice.color and now the result will be yellow. So let's see whether this actually uh, happens. So if we refresh the shell, yeah, we get two outputs, blue and yellow. Okay, so you see the init method um, consists of n, arg n arguments and so it takes n arguments and 
you only have to define in the constructor itself n minus one arguments because the first argument is always a reference to the object itself that is created. And we also can have more arguments. We can define more arguments like self dot um, hate, for example. Say we have, I don't know, 10, uh, some unit, and we can have self dot um, h, for example, it can be initially, it can be zero. Then we can have other other class methods, like let's define um, class birthday, because I want to show you that even for custom class methods like this, that are not starting with the standard um, notation, we also, the first argument will always be the self argument, okay? Then we can have birthday, we can have uh, mm, like an aging variable, for example, and then we simply set h plus equal to what we passed here, okay? So we can, it can every dog can age by let's say two hours, uh, two years or so. Yeah, I mean it doesn't really make sense, but you see, if we call the birthday method on the on the on the dog instance, then we only have to pass one argument because the first argument, as I said, will always be passed automatically by Python. It is an, uh, it is just a reference to the instance itself on which you uh, call it, okay? So um, now we can, for example, do the following: print bello dot h. So now we print the age of both. Let's get rid of this. Let's see. So now both should have the same age, zero. But what happens if we have, if we call uh, bello dot birthday 100. So with one argument, which is this aging value uh, arg um, argument. So then if you have, if you run it, you see that the second output is 100. Okay. So uh, yeah, okay. We want to, basically we want to do this one. And you want to print the age of Bello before and after um, celebrating the birthday. Okay, now you see the output is blue. Initially the age is zero, then it, uh, uh, Bello celebrates birthday, so the age is 100. Then we have the color yellow for Alice, and Alice is, has still age zero. Okay, so this is this is like um, some interesting uh, observation. So if you you can create, actually you can create new attributes in any method. So we could even in our birthday method we can call self dot head birthday we can set it to true so initially it doesn't exist but now we can do print bello dot head birthday and this should now return in true so we should see a true value okay so we see a boolean value true here so we basically have created a new attribute and you have added this attribute outside of the constructor. So actually you can create an attribute wherever you want. You don't have to create it inside the init constructor, but oftentimes it's, so it's most Pythonic to create all attributes you need in the constructor itself. So now an interesting uh, thing is if you, if we call this same function before we have even created the attribute, okay? So we, we, we print head birthday and now before we have created it, then what do you think will happen? Yeah, it will throw an error yeah, because it has no attribute head birthday. So Python really dynamically evaluates uh, whether uh, the attribute exists or not. So it doesn't, it doesn't evaluate it in, at compile time, like in, in advance. So for example, Java would throw the error right away because it will see there is no attribute head birthday. But in Python, you can do it. In Python, you can dynamically add and remove um, attributes uh, and you can uh, customize your class your class as you so your particular instance even as you as you as you like so for example another interesting thing is okay now what happens so here we we have we now cre create this attribute head birthday but now let's look at Alice Do, what do you think would Alice does Alice now have uh, this head head birthday variable set so no she wouldn't actually yeah Alice so you see now you can, on, on the instance level, you can define certain attributes. For example, some in instances like Bello, he would have the attribute head birthday, but Alice would not have the attribute head birthday. So this is perfectly valid. You can do this and uh, this would lead um, yeah, to, to this strange behavior that some instances have a certain attribute, others have not. But this is not, I mean, uh, this somehow contradicts the idea of defining classes in the first place because a class is supposed to be a blueprint of an instance so you would so you would expect that all all instances have the same attributes yeah otherwise why define the class in the first place so therefore 
So often it's like you can, you could do it, but you shouldn't do this. For readability, it's, it's much better to assume that like all, so for example, you could have this thing in the constructor. And even if you, if you, if you would differentiate whether, um, if you would like to differentiate whether the head birthday what would even be called already, then you could do the following. Yeah. So you can, um, initially you can set it to none, for example, and then only, so you have some dummy value here and then you can, you can actually see whether, whether you have already celebrated birthday or not. It's, it's semantically, it's similar. Um, it contains the same information, but, um, now it wouldn't throw an error. So if you, for example, if, if you, if you execute this, then you see, we don't have an error and we, it simply returns none. If you, um, if you would access the attribute, it hasn't in it been initialized um conceptually okay so uh yeah this was actually everything i wanted to to discuss so we have um so for single constructor uh, um arguments we only pass the self uh, m argument and the self argument is a reference to the instance itself so that you can actually access the attributes and change attributes from this particular instance and um the second and the third and the fourth arguments then will be the, arg the real custom arguments of the constructor that you can use to in initialize a certain instance. For example, here we have initialized Bello with the color blue and Alice with the color yellow. And of course we can have multiple arguments. So um, if you have in, in our done the init method, if you have n um, arguments, then we would pass n minus one um, arguments into the constructor routine out so when creating an instance okay so thanks for listening to this video if you want to um, use your newly acquired skills to um, do some practical work then check out um, my python freelance